Hello everyone, welcome to Life Around Science. Today uh, we are going to see a book flip through of this book, Quantum Field Theory, The Why, What and How by Professor Thangu Padmanabhan. Uh, this is a different kind of book on quantum field theory. So I had gone through this book briefly after my master's. In my master's I had already done uh, a couple of courses on quantum field theory. And this is a different type of book. I will go through this book and I will sh also show what all this book covers. And uh, I think to begin with, this is not a kind of book that you can start with if you want to learn about quantum field theory. The standard books or standard textbooks for quantum field theory, are the popular ones would be uh, that are usually uh, recommended are Peskin and Schroeder. Uh, another one is by Matthew Schwartz. These are the two standard, but these are very bulky kind of uh, books. And they're known to cover all the topics uh, that come under quantum field theory along with problems. Um, there are other books. Uh, so one is Bjorken and Drell, but it's a slightly older one. Uh, another one that I would say is Advanced Quantum Mechanics by J.J. Sakurai. These are also uh, some of the books that were used as reference books in my quantum field theory courses. And I had also used this book uh, on quantum field theory by Anthony Z, which I found quite interesting and useful uh, compared to other ones. But the book is always a personal choice, but it is one of the books which takes a different approach to explaining the theory of quantum fields. So let's uh, go about it. So as the title says, the quantum field theory, the why, what and how. So it focuses on the basic reasons of going into the quantum field theory. And that's why I said that this is a book that uh, you can take a look after having done a course on quantum field theory or after having a background of advanced quantum mechanics. So let's go into it. So this is, so there's a preface. So as uh, he mentions here that there are certain lacunae that needs to be filled when it comes to other quantum standard quantum field theory books. and. Here, the author really focuses on the why, what, and how. So after you do quantum field, once you know okay how the calculations go through, there are still a lot of questions that will be pestering you. Okay, this is fine. I understand what is going on. Uh, I can calculate things, but you don't really know wh uh, why you're doing it and how certain for, uh, formulations come up. Why certain techniques are actually used? You just go along uh, during your course or while you're doing other books. And this book tries to tackle these questions, the fundamental questions about why you're doing it and how different things in quantum field theory come about. So as uh, also mentioned here, um, it is expected that the student has ba some background of advanced quantum mechanics and special relativity. It's also written, so in 2012, the author gave 50 hour course on QFT at master's level students in physics at the University of Pune. Uh, so this book is expanded version of this course basically. So these are the highlights or the contents. So first, uh, first part of it is focused on particles to fields. The second is uh, so how basically uh, fields naturally come about when you try to quantize uh, relativistic particles. So the second part is disturbing the vacuum, which deals with uh, quantum vacuum and how vacuum, the idea of vacuum completely changes when you do quantum field theory and how the, there's all fuzziness in just nothingness and also this concepts of particles and antiparticles then going back to fields from fields and going back now and then going back from fields to particles how to quantize uh, the given fields and then uh, the rest two parts are focused on interactions so the first uh, part of it is based on interactions for scalar fields and the second is for Dirac or fermion fields this is more detailed uh, contents from particles to fields so as you can see uh, it is they go with the propagator quantum propagation amplitude for relativistic particles so this is how you get to the notion of fields when you do relativistic quantum mechanics then you have uh, vacuum the sources of uh, field and vacuum next is from fields to particles it is the quantization of fields the other way around so um, you can see quantizing real scalar field complex scalar field and so on and quantizing the electromagnetic field and then uh, real life one interactions there is electrodynamics so these are uh, so this part focuses on uh, scalar fields so this is scalar qed scalar quantum electrodynamics and then it focuses on scalar theory with phi raised to 4 type of interaction and in the last part we uh, turn to the fermionic or dirac fields 
So first, uh, the all the machinery for describing fermions is described, and then you go to the Dirac equation, and then finally quantizing the Dirac field and application of it to quantum electrodynamics, the actual QED. So there, there's a uh, bunch of problems which have been given at the end of the book. So this is the list and these are solved problems. So this, fo this book mostly focuses on the theory and the conceptual and the uh, real essence of the quantum field theory. So that's why I said that this is probably not the best book to start with because uh, other books will give you actual hands-on experience on how to do the calculation of what the thing uh, or focus on the thing that you actually require in real life calculation and this is more from the conceptual point of view or you can also use this book as uh, a side reference while you're doing your quantum field theory uh, studies so that you also strengthen your conceptual understanding and really focus on this why what and how of the quantum field theory so this is how this is let's do the book flip through there are certain side notes given as you go through uh, this book there are also exercises uh, as you go along the text so this is the mathematical supplement okay then disturbing the vacuum see these are uh, the notes this is the text and this is the spontaneous symmetry breaking uh, you see here prove this exercise 3.9 so these are the type of problems that uh, are there throughout this book there is no there are no problems at the end of any chapter so these are unsolved problems so as you're doing the theory the problems are flashed right there itself so spontaneous electromagnetic field interactions effective action Phi to the power 4 theory, perturbation, so this is the end, this is end of the final chapter. There's a mathematical supplement which is given at the end. And finally, you have a list of uh, solved problems which aim to strengthen the conceptual understanding of various topics within the book. List of uh, books that are recommended. There's Landau Lifshitz. Then there's Quantum Field Theory in a Nutshell by Anthony Z, which I had also gone through and found it very interesting. This by uh, particle sources and fields by Schwinger, Peskin and Schroeder, which is a standard textbook, and then there are uh, a couple of books, uh, recommended books, uh, come from Walter Greiner, which has which are rich in calculation details, and yes, and then there's the index. That's the come to the end of the fifth through. It's quantum field theory, the why, what, and how by Janu Padmanabhan. Thank you.